Welcome to the channel, The Prayer. May the Almighty in the heavens safeguard your journey. Psalm 91, a treasure within the Word of God, stands as one of the Bible's most potent psalms. It wields the divine power to bestow upon you blessings of protection and emancipate you from the bonds that may shackle your life. Furthermore, it possesses the ability to cast a shield of protection over your home and loved ones. Today, we gather to recite Psalm 91 in unison. As you join me in this prayer, either aloud or within the sanctuary of your thoughts, you invite the promises concealed within this potent psalm into your life. I invite you to submit your prayer requests specific to Psalm 91, and kindly include the names of your dear family members. For as I've shared previously, this psalm is a force for victory over our families and homes. If you find this content uplifting, please begin by hitting the like button. By doing so, you not only express your appreciation, but also signal to YouTube that you find this spiritually enriching, thereby helping it reach a wider audience. Your support is truly invaluable. And if you haven't already, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel so that you may receive more potent prayers through your YouTube feed. Now, let us prepare our hearts, for after this recitation of Psalm 91, we shall witness the Almighty's intervention. I have some guidance to offer as well. Consider listening to and reciting this prayer throughout the upcoming week. The impact can be profound if, for seven days, you engage with Psalm 91 in this manner. Now, I stand with you to recite this powerful psalm of blessings, victory, the breaking of bonds, and family protection. Those who dwell in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely, He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked, if you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For He will command His angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because He loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue Him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. O Lord God, Creator of the heavens and the earth, Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, Jehovah Jireh, the God of provision, Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace, Jehovah Elohim, the God who governs all things, I approach you under the mantle of Psalm 91. I beseech you to break the bonds that entangle this person's spiritual, familial, financial, and physical life. Let those bonds shatter and fall to the ground in this sacred moment of prayer. Almighty God, I invoke the presence of a mighty angel with a drawn sword to encircle this person's dwelling. May this angel nullify every malicious intention every scheme of the adversary, and every malevolent influence aimed at this household. Touch them now with your divine power, and let this home be enveloped in your protective grace and the sanctity of your precious blood. For your word declares in Psalm 91 that no evil shall befall them, nor shall any plague come near their dwelling. Therefore, I declare that every curse encircling this abode shall be broken and laid low at this very hour. Every work raised against this life, I pronounce broken under the authority of Psalm 91. Every written curse, every buried hex, every utterance intended to harm this individual, 
I decree that they all crumble into dust. My Lord, I implore you to dissipate every sickness inflicted upon this life by malevolent forces. As Psalm 91 speaks of the arrows of illness, I declare that, by the power inherent in this prayer, those arrows shatter and retreat. I decree that every ailment plaguing this body shall dissipate, and under the blessing of this prayer, health shall be restored. Heavenly Father, as Psalm 91 assures us of deliverance from snares, I now ask you to liberate this person from every snare and trap set by the enemy. Deliver this household from wickedness, from the snares of bloodthirsty intentions, and from dangers such as stray bullets, assaults, and accidents. May your angels accompany them on their journeys, safeguarding their departures and arrivals in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I affirm that they shall not stumble, nor shall they fall. I declare the abundant blessings of Almighty God upon this life. Now, I invite you to raise your right hand or place it upon your heart. Please, in unison, either verbally or within your heart, repeat these words with me. Those who dwell in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely, He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Let us conclude with the Lord's Prayer, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to say Amen and offer thanks to the Almighty. You have embraced this prayer, and I am confident that you have claimed its blessings. I encourage you to listen to this prayer repeatedly for seven days, as seven symbolizes divine perfection. Following this, you are welcome to share your testimonies in the comments section, as I anticipate many blessings to come your way. Please, extend this prayer to your family and friends who may also yearn for the profound blessings of victory and protection as conveyed in Psalm 91. Let them partake in this spiritual journey, and may their lives be richly blessed. Share your experiences and feelings after engaging with Psalm 91 in this prayerful manner. May Jehovah Rapha shower you with abundant and powerful blessings until we meet again. I invite you to click on this video popping up on the screen now. You'll love it. God bless.